never would have dreamed that I'd have a book out, never mind that it be filmed. And then to see these characters who I love, and, and I do feel maternal toward them and protective. And there they are. They're alive, and, and they have lives of their own. My name, madame, is Gamache. Armand, Chief Inspector Armand Gamache. It's all about Gamache. Uh, and he's a traveling man. Um. <laughs> He's a man who, who has seen too much and who's come to the fork in the road, as we all do, and instead of becoming embittered and, and armored, he's become compassionate. That he understands the value of life. There's a backstory here, um, and it's a developing backstory. Tell me what you know, Jean Yi. No purse, no wallet, no jewelry. No signs of a struggle. No witnesses either. Jean Guy Beauvoir is the action to Gamache's thought. He trusts him I implicitly. Should I wait? You might need backup. The age gap between us isn't such that the relationship is so obviously father and son. It's definitely still a mentor and mentor. He very much I sees him as somebody to Honestly. respect. He's really good at his job. Kills but he doesn't him. suffer he fools, accident. which is why they wonder why they keep, he keeps bringing Nichols back into it. Why doesn't fire and get rid of her like that? What's his problem? Found the body three hours ago. Agent Nichol meet Inspector Beauvoir. Maybe Madame Neal meant something to him. She is Beauvoir ten years ago. Where did she come from? She I comes in, and Gamache has this habit of sort of saving lost puppies, kind of, and, and Nick, Nickel kind of is that lost puppy. But he doesn't need another puppy, man. I'm, I'm the puppy. She wants to please everyone, and she will go at any lengths to do that. So there's jealousy between Nickel and Beauvoir. Let's say the arrow went straight through the body. Where would we find it? Somewhere on the woods. Nickel, can you go round us up some rakes, please? Nickel tests the others in his group um, by being abrupt. She left a dying woman alone? Doesn't listen, very forthright, arrogant. I solved the damn case. Everybody says so. Nothing that would normally attract Gamache to anybody, but he sees a spark of, I think, see, honesty and support. deep intelligence. Their styles are very different. Gamache's uh, approach is to listen and observe and make notes and look going. for nuance and look for patterns and to allow the case and the suspects to sort of unfold around him. What do you think, Madame Mara? Me? What, what do I think? Clara is me in the books. Clara is a, a painter and she is a very quirky, uh, very emotional um, and uh, I would say open-hearted individual. Can I ask a rude question? You make it a rude answer. <laughs> I think there is a spark between Clara and Armand. It's difficult with her because in a way you'd expect the main lady and the main guy to have a sort of flirty thing. History. They don't, it's, that's not what it is. But there is a real relationship between the eyes. Yeah, I think it's, a, you know, he's the, the newcomer and the, the dark stranger. I think Peter finds him a bit annoying, her husband. Much more fun to be up in your little treehouse with your attractively flawed hero solving the case, isn't it? Peter is a hyper-realist. That's the type of artist he is. I think kind of sees himself as one of the leaders of the community. Uh, is, it, is, it, is it tape and everything really necessary? Yes, I thought so. Where's the keys? Oh, uh, <coughs> there you go. Thank you, Mr. Hunter. Ben Hadley's a really interesting character. Uh, he's uh, a friend of uh, Clara and Peter's. They're close, huh? Best friends since childhood. Peter spent most of his youth protecting Ben from bullies, including his mother. He's a good guy, and so although he's off in the third wheel, he doesn't seem to mind, and so therefore no one else does. Uh, your name, madame? Ruth Zardo. The poet? No, the pole dancer. I would say she is one of the matriarchs of the town. I want that murder solved. She does not suffer fools lightly. She tells it like it is. She does not care what anybody thinks of her. She is, she is just a no-nonsense kind of a gal. The books are written with my hands and through my heart, and so to see it come alive like that was, it's amazing. I can hardly wait to see it on film.